Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Dr. Dave. So we're going to be talking about how to turn your stream deck into a button box for your games and so on and so forth. As you will know in the previous video we showed you how to set up the basic buttons and the button backgrounds to make your buttons look a bit fancy. So we're going to set one up uh, purely for Euro Truck or American Truck. So to start off with what we're going to do is we're going to jump in here and we're going to just minimize all of these for the time being. We don't need those for the, for now. We are going to be looking for the uh, hotkeys and hotkey switches. So we're going to chuck a line of uh, just single hotkeys. So this is a one button activation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and look at these are the icons that I have I'm going to list these in below so let's just change this one over to a hotkey switch because we want to have it to be able to have two icons so the on icon which is engine on and then we will also want to have the engine off icon as well so obviously when you press it once it will turn the engine on which is e on the keyboard and again the hot key to turn the engine off is e again so we're going to go to our second one and we are going to put in fuel fuel is enter on the keyboard you know you pull up you press the turn off engine button and then you will press and hold the enter key normally so you just press the button on your stream deck and your truck will refuel and then we have we also have the map so you can either use this as the m key to take you to the full scale map or you can use it as the f5 command which we are going to do for this instance and this is going to toggle through the different maps zooming in and out on your actual map so we're going to then set dash display is i on the keyboard as far as i'm aware I'm sure it is i don't quote me because i'm not 100 percent sure but that's what we're going to go with and then we're going to chuck in a few more hotkeys down here which these ones are switches just fill this up if we need to change them we'll change them but i'm sure that most of these are going to be hotkeys and they're going to need to be switches so we're going to have hazards on and hazards off so this is on this is off and the short key for the hazards is f for foxtrot and then we're going to go to our next one and we are going to do wipers which is p for papa actually we don't yeah that's fine so on and off and p and p and then we're also going to do parking brake so parking brake on and parking brake off and that is the space bar and then I believe this just needs to be a standard hotkey so we'll replace a couple of these so then we're gonna have dip beam We'll make sure that goes down there and then we'll add another hotkey 
and we will put this onto a high beam and then a few more hotkeys in here so we've also got attach and detach trailer which is T on the keyboard T for tango and then we also have camera so camera is it'll be nums lock plus four for interior cam so this will be number nine on the keyboard because you can then cycle through all of the camera modes. And what else have we got? We've also got toggle cruise control, which is C for Charlie. And then we also have increase and decrease. And to be, to be honest, I don't, use the increase and decrease this is just for showing you guys it's just for demonstration purposes so there we go so we got all our buttons so on and off which is e fuel is enter map is f5 dashboard is i hazards is f windscreen wipers is p parking brake is handbrake T is to attach and detach the trailer. Number nine is for the rotation of the cameras. And then you've got high beam and dip beam, which is. Da, 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 da. So we've got light mode. Well, one of one of these is F, uh, L, L for lights. I can't remember what the one is for high beam. Uh, see if I can find it. Our oh, main beam is K. So this one is K. So make sure you, when you are on here, you delete the titles, otherwise you get these stupid letters over the top of your images. So all of these are programmed barring the plus and the minus on the cruise control. I don't know what those are off the top of my head. So now what we're going to do is we're going to load up Euro Truck and we're just going to make sure all of these key binds work. So just bear with me as we load up Euro Truck. Unfortunately, my webcam's not working. If the webcam was working, I would be facing it towards the stream deck to show you these buttons actually working, but you know, as I press the button, I'll tell you that I'm pressing it and I'll tell you which corresponding button I'm pressing and you'll be able to see for yourself on the screen what is happening. Well, it loaded a lot quicker than it did last time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go and jump straight into the truck.
Right, as you can see, we're now in the truck. So the first key that we mapped was the engine on and off. And there we go. The engine is now on. The engine is now off. On. So if your buttons show up the wrong way round when you press the stream deck, like mine is currently doing, you can't see that right now. But what is showing is it is currently showing that the engine is switched on with the green light above the engine start. What you will need to do is you will need to toggle that key, which is E on the keyboard first. Then you press the corresponding key on the stream deck, which then puts it back into the right orientation. So now the green light is now off and the truck is off. And then I press it again and the green light comes on and the truck turns on. So the map key on the stream deck changes how zoomed in your overlay sat nav is. And again, you can set it so this will take you directly to this map here, which is M on the keyboard. But we don't need that, so... And then we are going to click the dash display. As you can see now, my dash display is changing. And then we have the hazards. And same thing with the hazards. So when I turned the hazards on, the light on the stream deck went dark. So that means it's in the wrong orientation. So again, we would have to, I believe it's F. Yep, we would have to press F on the keyboard. And now when we turn the hazards on, the button illuminates. And then when we turn the hazards off, the button goes dark. And then we've also mapped the windscreen, windscreen wipers. So you can press this multiple times to speed up the windscreen wipers. And then we've also got the parking brake. Again, the same thing, like I said before, you need to press the button once on the stream deck then you need to press the space bar which is the handbrake so then we know when the handbrake is on and off then we can't test out the trailer one because we haven't currently got a trailer nearby but we can do the camera one which will change between all of the different cameras just like so and then we've also got the so we can toggle between lights being off side lights and dip beam and then we've got our additional button here for the high beam and then we've obviously got the one for the cruise control and we've also got the cruise control plus and minus but again we don't really use those other than the main cruise control and you've got to be moving to make that work so yep so other than that guys you've seen it here that you know all of these i'll put the uh in the description of the video i will put the link for these buttons so you can use them yourself but other than that it's that straightforward you know you can set all your buttons up via hotkeys and there is another way of actually doing it where uh, somewhere on here there is another way of actually doing it that it will come up with a list um, I can't remember quite where it is on here But the Stream Deck has had an update recently, so they may have changed changed the feature. Because before, you would click on here. Oh no, here we go. So, if you don't want to type the keystroke in, you can click the arrow on the side here. And this comes up with um, all your numbers and letters down the side. 
and then you've got left, right, up, down, tab space, so on and so forth. Then you've got all your numpad as well, and then you've got all your F keys, and then any on your others that you might have on your particular keyboard, and you just map them just like that. So now what you can see is when I was in the game, the, you can see that the, the parking brake is now on and the switch on the stream deck overlay like I just showed you was illuminated and the hazards one was off. So if I now take the parking brake off and then apply the hazards and then alt and tab and go back, you can now see that this one is illuminated to say that the hazards are on and this one is now dark to say that the handbrake is off. So yes, yeah, it's, it's very, very clever and it's a nice little bit of kit. So I hope this helped you guys. And as always, I've been Dr. Dave. You guys have been amazing. Thanks for supporting the channel and we will see you next time. So bye for now.